Hello Hawthorne Huskies, it's Miss Shannon and Aiden in your Husky Gardens. We are giving you guys a tour of, well, what's changed in your gardens over the past few months. Actually, it's been more like a year since most kids have been here. If you have been able to walk by the gardens, you've probably been seeing some changes here, but we're gonna give you an up close personal view of how your gardens are faring. Let's take a look. Hello everybody and welcome to your Hawthorne Gardens that have actually changed over the past year since you last saw them. So let's do a quick review of what's changed. So here we have pots of different plants. We have tomatoes here. We have sugar snow peas. Yeah, sugar snow peas. Aiden, I have a question for you. So we have purple flowers and white flowers growing on the sugar snow pea. And from what you've learned, you know that the flowers are turning into the actual pod of the pea. But, oh yeah. But my question to you is, Aiden, can you predict what color the pod will be based on the color of the flower? What do you think? Well, it'll be, it will be kind of the color of the flower. You think so? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look around. Let's see if we can find. So he's making a prediction that if the flower is purple, the pod will be purple too. So Aiden, look at this one right here. What color is coming out of this one? It's kind of like purple. Is it? Well, that's purple, that's white. What about in between there? Oh, that's a pod, that's a pod growing. Yeah, so what color is that? That one is white. It's white, okay. So purple, Purple pod or purple flower means it's going to be a white pod or is it going to be a green pod coming out? What color is that really in there? It's kind of like a green. It's pod. green. So just because the flower is purple doesn't mean the pod is going to be purple too. There are purple potted peas, but in this pot, we actually just have the green sugar snow peas. All right, moving on. What else do we have here? Um, here. These are turnips growing. Yeah, we just seeded those. We have more sugar snow peas. Lavender. And we have some grow bags full of flowers and Kona the dog. Do you know what's growing in this bed, Aiden? Um, sugar snow peas. And? And lettuce. Lettuce. That's why we put so many lettuce heads on the intro to this video because this whole bed is full of what's called emerald oak lettuce. How about this bed over here, Aiden? Um, this bed is full of yellow, or orange, orange just ye yellow flowers. Yeah, these are called calendula. Do you remember doing some seed saving with these? These are actually edible flowers and they attract awesome pollinators like bees to our gardens. We have arugula. We also have some radish varieties growing in here. You can tell by the shapes of their leaves. They look like little hearts. And then we have carrots. We'll talk about germination rates for different seeds, different vegetables. We have borage. I think I lost Aiden for the tour. <laughs> He's right here. We have arugula that has bolted. That means it's producing its flowers right now. And from the flowers, it'll produce seeds. We can collect the seeds and save them. Yay! For next time. And sugar snow peas. <laughs> sugar snow peas. This is some dill. We're gonna do be, uh, doing a recipe with potatoes and it look, dill. It looks spiky, but it's actually incredibly soft. Oh, that's a good observation, Aiden. Sometimes looks deceive, right? It's not until you actually take a, a touch, a gentle touch. It's a big pot of rosemary. We use rosemary in a lot of cooking dishes with Chef Brendan. Different lettuce varieties. We have kale. In this bed, we have some beans growing. We're hoping to grow the beans up and over these trellises. He's back. And if you come here at nighttime, you may notice some lights on these trellises, these cattle panels. These are little dragonflies and they're actually solar lights. There's our little solar panel right up there. They light up the sky. <laughs> it's so pretty. This bed has some dinosaur kale that's being devoured by bugs. Yeah, I think we have some grasshopper issues in here. And we have some bolted broccoli, but I'm leaving it because it attracts the bees. It's actually allowing a food source, the nectar and the pollen for the bees. We have red Russian kale and some containers with herbs, more rosemary, some bull's blood beets, a whole paddle of 
a panel, I should say, of tomatoes, Beautiful. cattle panel. Yeah, and then last but not least, these are overwintered tomatoes. We kept them going on through last summer and, and a bucket, a Home Depot bucket. So Aiden, what do you think? Oh, and all the birdhouse gourds that we harvested from the fall. We'll drop that video showing you guys all of these birdhouse gourds growing on the cattle panels. Some of them are kind of weird. <laughs> like this one's collapsing, but the one that's collapsing is attached to this one, oh. which is also kind of collapsing. <laughs> so those are hollow inside. We're drying them out so we can carve some birdhouses. We're also drying some pumpkin seeds. These ones will take a while. We're going to do a pumpkin growathon here, hopefully again. Mold. Yeah, they're drying out. Yeah, it's a little powdery, powdery mold growing on there. But that's it, you guys. Here is your garden space. It's small but mighty, and it's really productive. Some of these lettuces that are growing in here are super tasty. And if you guys are ever around the garden space, we'd be more than happy to pass out some harvest. Yeah? Yeah, yeah a big lot of lettuce. Or, wait, no, that doesn't. <laughs> that's funny. Big head of lettuce. Yes, a lot of lettuce or a head of lettuce whatever floats your boat. All right, guys, beautiful, beautiful day in the Hawthorne Gardens. Check it out. Yay. Okay, guys, that's the end of our tour. Now go ahead and grab your Grow, Cook, Science Journal, turn to a blank page, and write down one of the items you're most excited to try coming out of this Hawthorne Husky garden space. Yay. And just remember, keep connected. Keep curious.